Hey everyone, today's video will be about linking different uh, cells among different worksheets in Excel and I believe this is going to save you a considerable amount of time. Before proceeding, consider subscribing to the channel. First of all, in this case, I'm going to look at the VLOOKUP formula and then I'll go to the offset and then I'll go with the index match. So this is the data set that, that I have. So in this tab, I'm going to link the data. Basically, I have this identifier called the name and this is a uh, the data that I'm looking for, basically the region or the region that a person belongs to. First of all, let's look at the VLOOKUP formula. I press uh, equals and VLOOKUP. So how VLOOKUP works is, first of all, it asks for a lookup value. So the lookup value is basically the identifier that we're looking for. And that is the name here. So I'll just press this name. And then I press comma and we have uh, the table array that it asks for. So the table array is basically the area that we're looking for this value in. For that, I'll go back here and I'll see this table. So when using VLOOKUP, just a heads up, that the value that we're looking for, for example, in this case, we're looking at the region, right? So this has to be towards the right side of the identifier. So the identifier here is the name. And the value that we're looking for is the region. So this has to be, the region has to be towards the right side of the identifier here. So for this, what we'll do is uh, we'll go to the name, name column here and then I'll press Control shift down arrow and the right arrow key. So I'll select all this uh, table starting with the name. Now I'll press comma. Now it asks for the column index number. So for this, what we'll do is we'll see this is the first column, right? The name column. And I need to look at the region. So where the region is. So this is the first column, then the second, third, and the fourth. So region is in the fourth column, right? So I'll press four here. And for this, I'll uh, go to false. False is basically an exact match. So what identifier we have here. So this is the identifier, right? So basically it is going to look at the exact match for this name in the name column here. So this is what it says basically. So for that, I'll uh, press uh, a false uh, the center so as you can see we have got the region Alaska and uh, it matches with the one that we have here right now what we can do is uh, we can just uh, press control shift and down and then I can, I can press control D so it going, it's going to copy the formula all the way till the end and we have got the regions for all these identifiers now the second approach is uh, the offset and I'll also delve into what uh, specific advantages and disadvantages of this different formula are. So for the offset we uh, press equals and then I'll enter offset. So for this what we need is for, first of all we need the reference. The reference is basically, basically a starting point. So for this we go to this uh, table and then I'll click on the first cell of this table right. So this is the starting point. This is the reference. After this, I'll press comma, then it asks for the rows. So the rows is basically where it should go down or which row should it traverse to from this starting point or from this reference point. So for the rows, I'm going to use a match function here. And it's kind of analogous to finding an address, right? So we are basically finding an address right here. So the match function is go going to give you the reference of that address or basically the area in which this particular point is located in and the final location of that particular thing that we're looking for that will be given out by the offset function. So the match is going to yield the reference here. For getting the reference, I'll go, it asks for the lookup value, I'll go to the lookup identifier. After this, I press comma and I go to the lookup array. So lookup array is basically this, uh, the name column. So starting with the name all the way till the end. And I'll go with zero, basically an exact match. And I'll close the bracket. Then I press a comma. So now it asks for the columns as you can see here. So the column is going to be, as you can see the column, basically we are looking for the region column, right? If I start from this reference or the starting point, so where is a region located with respect to this reference? So if we start with the reference, so this is a starting point, then first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So region is on the sixth place, starting from the reference point, right? I'll press six here. Now, as you can see, it asks for height and width, so we don't have to use it right now. It is 
going to be used when we are going for any kind of arithmetic operations from uh, let's say a particular range of rows in that case we have to use the height and the width is basically if we have uh, to find the value in more than one column so basically it's kind of an array but here we are just eliciting value from a single column so we don't need those so i'll just close the bracket and i'll press enter as you can see i've got the same uh, value as i got here again i can just uh, say control c and i'll use the alt es and uh, f function formula so as you can see i've got all these values again and these are the same right now finally i'll go with the index match for this i'll press equal and press in uh, type index so how index match function works is it's kind of similar to the offset first of all it asks for an array so array is basically the value that i'm looking for so i'm looking for this region right i'm looking for the values in this region column so i'm going to select this column after this it asks for the row number again so for the row number as we did in the offset case we'll type match and then again we'll give those same values and this is the lookup value or the identifier then for the lookup array basically we're going to go with the name right and then we have the zero as exact match and then i'll press again this uh, to close this bracket and i'll press enter as you can see i've got the alaska again and again i'll just press ctrl c and alt s f so this is going to copy the formula across all these values are the same it's just that uh, there are different approaches all of them are doing their job right but it's about uh, which you would like to use or which you are comfortable with i would say you could go with that with the will we sometimes have to make some adjustment related to the columns their uh, positioning sometimes and um, also as you can see there is something that we need to enter manually column number right i believe this is uh, i mean there's some kind of manual task involved in using the vlookup and when it comes to the offset it is quite dynamic uh, but again it becomes quite tedious to review if you're reviewing someone else's work in that case again uh, we have a manual entry here as well so you will have to calculate the positioning of the specific thing that you're looking for uh, with respect to the reference point now finally when we talk about the index match i believe this is the perfect match here because uh, you don't have to enter any kind of uh, manual entries here it is all about linking to specific columns specific cells uh, i believe that you now have additional idea about which formula can be used in order to link different data uh, among different worksheets in the excel thank you for watching i'll see you the next time